wow, ancestry. Wow, that makes it they so can, yes. complex. Yes, so they okay. can describe how they felt. Mm-hmm. They can say, I was physically paralyzed, mm-hmm. maybe, or... Um, I felt like a zombie, mm. but they may not even know what they're dressed. So we try to assess as much as we possibly can um, what their needs are based on their drug history. We need to assess if they are going to need medical detox when they come to us, if there's going to be uh, a need for rehab because they'll need some kind of medical supervision. We want to make sure that, that when they arrive to us, we are capable of meeting all of their needs. Wait, can um, I pa- can I yeah. pause you just for a second? Um, can you speak to what is medical detox for those sure. listeners who don't know okay. anything about it? So, um, some substances when you are when they're removed from your body and you stop taking them, you're physically dependent on mm-hmm. them, and it can be harmful and even life threatening mm-hmm. if you're not medically supervised. Mm-hmm. So, um, there's different classes of drugs alcohol is one of them wow but also yeah i know people don't realize that it's it can be really dangerous if someone is physically addicted to alcohol so they need medical supervision Mm -hmm. while they're detoxing um but there are other benzodiazepines i think a lot of people know about opiate withdrawal Mm -hmm. um and that's very painful Mm -hmm. and uncomfortable that it's not actually as life-threatening as some other medications But so it would need to be medically sur- supervised for their safety yeah. while they detoxed. And that could be, you know, like three to 14 days. Wow. And a lot of times the medical professionals will give them medication to help ease that process sure. and make sure that they're safe.